Hey everybody, today is day three. Uh, my nose finally stopped bleeding. It's still very swollen and I'm in a lot of pain. But I got an eyebrow lift, black and blue as you can see. He did my, lock, my lip, which is still sore, so I'm bruised, very swollen. I'm about to take my oxycodone and uh, ibuprofen. I've been freezing ice water so I could just place it on my face. It feels so good and it takes down the swelling. So I've been doing this since yesterday. Well, actually I started in the hospital icing my face. Believe me, I would not be on here showing this side of me because I look terrible. I know I look terrible. Nobody can tell me anything different in the comments. I know I look a hot mess. <clears throat> However, I do what I do and I started my channel for you guys. I started it for anybody who is, specifically I started it, in, you know, originally started it for people of trans experience. People that were looking for doctors, um, specific doctors to do specific surgeries. And I said, well, why not, since I'm going to be doing these surgeries, why not offer this, you know, free service, <laughs> videos, just offer free information to people, you know, who are seeking surgery. Because <clears throat> believe me, I could have did this in private. I've been very stealth about it and never put anything on the internet. Just went through the surgeries and not tell anyone, which a lot of the people are doing, trans men and trans women are doing, they're not, or even just cisgender people, they're not really sharing this, <laughs> you know, and all the other surgeries that they have, they don't, they're living in a stealth life, so they're not interested in showing themselves in this vulnerable state, but <clears throat> I'm always a very giving, loving individual, so I don't mind sharing, um, this is day three, and as you see, it's not any better, it's actually worse. I could barely open this eye yesterday, so today is finally opening a little bit due to the frozen ice. This is frozen solid, so it's helped a lot, but um, I love you guys, keep watching. Hit the like button and hit the share button and tell your friends. Tell them to come on over to the channel and subscribe. All right, there's <clears throat> more to come. Day three, I'm home, I was discharged yesterday. Um, with, uh, they gave me, uh, 500, 500 milligrams of Tylenol, um, oxycodone, I forgot how many milligrams, they give you like 12 pills or something like that, um, and, um, uh, ibuprofen, so you're set as far as pain medicine is concerned. I had a lot done to my face, which is why I'm super swollen and stuff. I had my nose done. I had my brow lifted. I had my forehead shaved down. I've had cheek implants. I've had lip um, filler with um, the fat, which I thought was coming from my chin, but instead he took the fat from my abdomen area, which I can't show you right now because it's down below and I don't have underwear on, so I'm not going to show you that part. However... I had rhinoplasty as well, as you see. And I do kind of like the way the nostrils are shaped. And I like the tip. So I just can't wait to see what this... This is a stint, you guys. This is very hard. It's not soft at all. It's like a cast. And it keeps your nose in place. So my whole head is like really tight. Tomorrow, the doctor told me... Not my surgeon, but the nurse. She said that for me to take this off. She said that I should take all the wrapping off. Leave the stent. That's for him to take off. Because I'm not touching this. Because they had to break my nose. You know, so you have to keep that on. You know, it's like a cast. Like as if you have a cast on your leg, on your arm. This is a cast for your nose. So anyway, let me go. My hair is a mess. Um, it was bothering me, so I took the braids out. Because I had braids and I washed it. Shampooed my hair the night before. I shampooed my hair and conditioned it the night before and then put it in braids like an idiot and I should have just left it. But it would have got really, really hard to comb the next day. So I braided it up. And when I went into surgery and it cut across my head, of course, um, and they wrapped me up, um, the braids were like hurting when I tried to lay down sideways. So I took it out. 
either way, I'm okay, you guys. I just got to finish going through all of this. All right, and I'm going to take this medicine. I'm going to go try to watch television, maybe watch catch up on RuPaul's Drag Race or something. I don't know. Watch a movie. But, yeah. So, keep sending the well wishes and it really helps. It helps me know that there's somebody out there that really cares. Um, because, as you guys know, most of the things that I do, I do alone. So, my cousin did come and pick me up from the hospital yesterday. Um, he was on time. It was really early, actually. You know. <sighs> So, and I didn't expect him to come. He called me and asked me. So he was like, are you ready to be discharged? And I was like, hell yeah, because they told me I could leave. So he showed up. I did that, filled out a lot of paperwork, left the building. I was too much, I was in too much pain to discuss anything, to leave him at a video or anything. I just wanted to go, go home, take a shower, wash all of that Corona off my body. <laughs> that I felt that I had being in a hospital room because you know when you're in there there are different people coming in and out of your room for different reasons handing your medication doing taking trays you don't know who got what so I had a mask on on top of all of this I had a mask on in my room trying to protect myself from COVID people <laughs> whatever you know the workers because I had a room to myself but let me go I'm gonna upload this video and I will talk to you guys this is day three. I'll probably come back again when I look a little better. I love you. Deuces.